Hello, 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 and welcome to this impromptu edition of Prog Review. You're probably expecting a review of Pink Floyd's Pulse on Blu-ray. No, because at the moment it's 53 quid for two Blu-rays. And that's what we say to Pink Floyd if they're charging 53 quid for two Blu-rays. 60 page booklet or not. But what we do like is we like free. We like free stuff. And what should arrive out of the ether, as if by magic, but a Roger Waters concert from 1987. Um, yeah, on Spotify and on YouTube, uh, music, YouTube music or YouTube, you, uh, it's complicated. But anyway, on those two, we have this concert. I've put a link to the YouTube version in the box, just in case it's plucked again, because we've noticed a number of artists, Lou Reed for one, who do these uh, dumps of material and then quickly take them back like it's a copyright thing. It could be that uh, Mr. Waters is trying to you know, put an injunction on bootleggers. Who knows? I don't know. Nobody knows. Nobody knows what's going on. But anyway, the important thing is this concert has arrived. Um, there's eight tracks. It's about 48 minutes in length. And it's taken from... Uh, the Radio Chaos tour. It's called Chaos FM 987, the radio broadcast. It's not the entire concert, it's a truncated version because I know there are bootlegs of the entire thing uh, out there, but it's a truncated version. It's a, it's a little taster, as it were. And this is indeed, it's from uh, the Colisee de Quebec in Canada, 7th of November 1987. And you get to hear. Again, I'm not a big um, bootlegger type person. So I thought, okay, I'll give it a go. Because I'm, I'm a bit fond of the uh, Radio Chaos album. I know it hasn't dated well, hasn't aged well. You know, um, it's it's very much a product of the 80s. But um, as I was, I was relating to the missus as we listened to, to it, um, my dear old mum... <laughs> Um, bought me the tape unannounced from Morris. She said, oh, that Roger Waters you like, he's got a new album out. And she gave it to me. And I was completely, completely astounded. I was completely, uh, completely knocked back by it. It was a nice treat. So as a memory goes of being 16, um, it was a nice memory. So, yeah. It was a good. It was a good. It was a good memory. So that that album, I've got a little bit. I've got some fondness for because I played it to death on cassette back in the day and uh, recently. Well, in the last couple of years, anyway. I got the LP version. Got a good, good LP version off of eBay, going cheap. So that was nice. I got to reacquaint myself with it. Anyway, um, you don't get much of the um, Radio Chaos album. You get two tracks from it. You get the intro. Uh, Jim Ladd does the intro and he goes into Radio Waves and you have the powers that be. Um, the rest of the concert is, is of course, um, put aside for Pink Floyd tracks. And that's what we've got here. We have um, a number of Pink Floyd tracks. You've got Money, In the Flesh, Have a Cigar, Pigs, Wish You Were Here, Mother, The Powers That Be, Breathe, Another Brick and All Part One. And, and that's it. And uh, the Pink Floyd tracks themselves... Um, are interesting because they're obviously they're often conjoined with other Pink Floyd tracks. They go into each other, and these aren't um, they're not like watching Pink Floyd do it. Roger Waters allows himself and his band to you know have a bit of fun. They're different. It's a different flavouring. There's different singers singing the parts, you know. It's then they're not trying to be uh, David, Davy Boy, Gilmore, you know. So that's interesting. Again, I think if I'd have heard this when I was, I don't know, a wee sprout, I'd have probably gone, "This is outrageous. This doesn't sound like Pink Floyd at all." But now I'm, well, I'm going to be 51 next week. Where did that year go? Um, don't forget, you can send uh, money in, in birthday cards to your usual address. You know? Um, but again, as a as a fifty one uh, year old male, um, it was it was kind of exciting to hear. The sound quality is 
Mwah, it's prima. It's superb. It's very, very good for a for a bootleg or radio broadcast. I don't know if he's um, he's had it tarted up, but it certainly sounds um, it sounds really good. And uh, you know, so the mix is good, and you get a good a good selection of tunes. Yeah, the only the only downside is you don't get the whole concert. He's obviously, I don't know, withholding the rest. Maybe the rest of the pier. I don't know. I don't know what the deal is because there hasn't been any formal. Um, press release. This just magically appeared again, like the Lou Reed um, thing uh, before Christmas. Um, and there were some other people. There was someone else. Again, it slipped my mind. So I'm sure people in the comments will correct me. But this is a common occurrence now. But this isn't slipping out of copyright because this was released, recorded in 1987. So I'm thinking. It's maybe his way of taking on the bootlegs because I know this has been released on CD. You can pick it up on something called the, the radio broadcast. It's a box set of his material, and maybe he's just you know, you know, giving it to the to the bootleggers because there's an awful lot of uh, bootleg material out there, and you can buy this from legitimate places like HMV, Burning Shed, Amazon. It's um, yeah, it's very very strange, and uh, you know, but there you go. So, yeah, I would, if I were you, if I were you, I'd toot it along to Spotify or YouTube Music and give it a listen, just in case it disappears. And then that makes this review look utterly stupid. But if you want an exciting 48 minutes, and I think it is, I think, I think actually, I think he's done a good job with, you know, just giving you a highlights, a highlights reel of the concert. <clears throat> it kind of makes me... I'm kind of interested in hearing, hearing the rest of it, you know. Um, so, yeah, I'm hope, hopefully, Mr. Waters, if you're watching, doubtfully, doubt if you are, but it'd be nice if you did more of this kind of thing. It'd be good if more bands did this kind of thing and put live material or, or stuff that's been bootlegged up on uh, YouTube Music or Spotify or the streaming platforms because, you never know, it might make you a dollar, mightn't it? I mean, like all the million streams will make you a dollar. A single dollar, <laughs> but yeah, interesting. I mean, I don't know what um, you hardcore, um, hardcore. I think I'm hardcore. I just don't do bootleg stuff. I don't do live recordings. But I'm sure many of you may have already heard this. Go over, have a listen to it. See what you think. See how it compares to the recordings. Let me know. Again, I'm pretending to care. Let me know in the content comments box below what you think of it. You know, and um, you know, has he has it has it been tied up, or has he just uploaded it straight to YouTube or Spotify? And um, you know, but it sounds really, it sounds pretty fine. And I, like I said, I really enjoyed it, um, and I recommend you go go check it out. And uh, yeah, good stuff, eh? Beats it beats paying fifty three quid for Pulse again. I like that. I like that a lot. Um, so yeah, and if anyone, if anyone else out there um, spots anything like this appearing, do drop me a line so I can cover it because I'm not always all over this. Um, but I was on this today, and this was good, and it makes a nice little um, exciting random review that no one was expecting. And that's pretty cool, isn't it? That's pretty cool. I think it's pretty cool. So there you go. So yeah. Um, I'm going to be clever now. I'm going to drop the graphic on the screen. Uh, I've been listening to... Oh, that's, that's, that's almost like I'm a professional. I've been listening to Chaos FM 1987 by Roger Waters. And look, see, there's real artwork. There's actually real artwork to go with this. So um, maybe he's considering releasing it on CD. I don't know. That's pure speculation. But um, it would be good if they put the rest of it up. Or, you know, I'd like I'd like to hear the rest of it now. But I'm sure it's already out there. Anyway... Thank you for watching. Hopefully this has excited you and enthused you. And uh, I don't know, maybe we'll do something like this again. I don't know, maybe maybe not. I don't know, maybe I should just buy the Pulse thing and then I can slag it off some more. That'd be cool, wouldn't it? <laughs> not got 53 quid to waste, unfortunately. 53 quid on two Blu-rays. I mean, that's just wrong. Anyway, thanks for watching. Reminds me, Darren, like I've been talking about KSFM. 987 from Roger Waters, a mysterious 
um, live bootleggy type thing that mysteriously appeared out of the vapor, out of the ether, onto the digital domain. And who knows, maybe like Brigadoon, it might just appear for a moment and then disappear again. So go, listen to it while you can, and enjoy it. It's good fun. And with that, there's not much else other to, than to say. Prog on.